Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Skills and Next Gen Learning. If you are first time viewer on my channel, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get latest update from Fusion Next Gen Learning. In today's demonstration, we are going to cover one more business requirement which typically happen in every business. So let's take an example. While doing the data migration or while creating an item, user has created item A with description B and item B with description A. So in those cases, you can correct the description also. But let's take an example. If you have the same activity in a larger volume, then how you can do that? But it is not advisable that once the item transaction is started, you change the item numbering. It can cause the or corrupt the data in the system. If you have put certain logic, then it might won't work. So it is not advisable. Once you start using it, you can't change. For that, you have to inactive the item in the system and create new item and use it into your transactions. But let's take an example. You freshly created new item and unfortunately, it's wrongly created in the system. You can still correct that by changing the item number in the Oracle Fusion. So how we can do that? For that, you have to go to the setup and maintenance. Within the setup and maintenance, you have to click on the, and once you click on the task, you have to search your task called manage administrator profile values. There is a profile option code called EGP. So EGP underscore update table underscore item. So this is the profile option code. So that you have to use. And once you search, so if you see that this value by default will be set at the site label as a no. So if you would like to update item number after creation of an item without taking transaction in place, you can just make it from no to yes and save it and save and close. And if you go back to your PIM area and you will notice that you are able to change the item numbering. So let's go to the product information management and we'll validate how we can do the update. So we'll click on the manage items, the item. So let me search some item and try to search. So let's take an example. This is one of my item. Inside the item, I can see that item field will become as a added table. So I can change these item number and I can correct that respective item code in the system. And you can use FBDI also if you have the bulk items to be corrected. You can enable the profile option and do the update with correctly with the mapping and you can use this feature. So if you set that values at the site label as a no, then it will be become as a read only. So you can't update the item number until unless the profile option set as a yes. So we'll go back. We'll try to again search our task, manage administrator profile values, and we'll again go to the profile option code, egp underscore update table underscore item. And if you notice that we just done the yes, now I am changing back to the no so that you can do. And if you notice that this profile option won't work at the user label. So if you are enabling it, it will be globally applicable to all the business entities within the same enterprise platform. So I'll make it no and save and close. And if I make it no, I'll go back. And if I check my particular item, I'll see that it is into read-only mode. So this is very important feature which can be useful if you have the item created with the wrong part number. You can still correct the part number with their correct descriptions code. So if you notice that, now it's become as a read-only. So that is how you can achieve this kind of requirement in Oracle Fusion. Thank you. Thank you for watching my channel, Fusion Next Gen Learning. Keep subscribing, keep watching, happy learning.